Hi, Bo here. As you can see, uh, the UK started to get these Frilling 30 Transformers figures in, like Rhinox and Blitzwing. You know, the Frilling 30 Generations Voyager class uh, figures in, because they've got Rhinox, they've got Blitzwing. They've also got out in the UK because it's at B and M stores. There's the the thing there. There's the B and M stub there. Uh, Transformers Voyager at B and M stores, and that's an Irvin. See, it's an Irvin. Says Irvin right there. That in Ayrshire. That's where I got that. I got mine from. The B and M stores are getting these in, uh, and you see the price of them. They're, well, there's, they're two to twelve ninety nine each, so you can't go wrong with that price. The other ones they have in, whoop, I'll try to lighten that. The other ones they have in, obviously, now I, I didn't get this uh, uh, one from the B&M store, so the entertainer's getting them in as well. Uh, I got this from Comic Con last year in Glasgow. They're, they're also getting double dealer in. They're also getting Sandstorm in. And of course, if you have Sandstorm, you've got to have yeah, Springer. Springer. So that's the other ones they're getting in. Oh, and the other one they're getting in, which I've already got, which I got this off eBay, I didn't get this at Comic Con, uh, is Blaster. And of course, the, the Remo retool of this is Soundwave and Sound Blaster that they're getting these in as well. So they're getting that, they're getting these ones as well as Skybite. Uh, oh, what's the other thing called? There's a helicopter one that's coming in out. Uh, Roadbuster, Whirl, Whirl, Whirl. And uh, it's, it's, I said Skybite, didn't I? And Whirl, Woodbuster, these Sound Blaster, and, uh, and that's uh, and that seems to be it at the moment with the Voyager figures. But hopefully we'll get Jetfire in, and even though it's a uh, a leader class figure. Hopefully we're getting that in, and it'll obviously be a bit dearer. It won't be twelve ninety nine for that. And of course, the other thing I hope they get in, because it is part of the Generations line, is... The other figures I hope they come in with is this guy. Yep, Metroplex. Obviously that's the Takara version, but they're obviously bring the Hasbro one out. I know it did come out in Toys R Us, but there's only a few places in, in the UK and Toys R Us that, that had it in at the time. Scotland, the Toys R Us never got this figure in, uh, in Toys R Us. So hopefully this time around, since I bring the Generations figures out properly this time, uh, even though it's about a year and a half or two years after the rest of the world has got, got these Generations figures, uh, we'll get... What we'll be getting, hopefully we'll get this big guy, we'll get Jetfire, and the other ones that they'll be getting, hopefully, if they do the deluxes, is Tankor, because I got this at the, at the Glasgow Comic Con, that's Tankor, he's part of the, and, uh, give me a minute, Ryan Pax, hopefully they'll get, they'll, they'll bring him out as well, as well as, in the deluxe line, so hopefully we'll bring him out as well as in the deluxe line. Hold on to move the camera. Well, they're bringing this. They've brought this guy out, so hopefully in the deluxe line, they will bring out Rat Trap and Waspinator. But I mean, I don't know when these are going to come out. Obviously, it's just these uh, Voyagers that are come out just now. But whether we'll actually get uh, the rest of them in. Uh, like ta whether we'll actually get Metroplex uh, or Jetfire, who's leader class, or any of the deluxes. 
I don't know. I've no idea. We'll just have to pick up the ones that are out there just now. Obviously the other one I'm looking for is Skybite. And uh, after that, if Jetfire does appear, I'll get, obviously get him. It'll be like Black Friday, try to get him, because <laughs> everyone a mad rush in the UK to get them. That's literally flying off the shelves in the UK, these figures. So when you pick them up, get the bloody chance to go out there and get them. Because when they're gone, they're gone. I mean, okay, you, 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 you have the internet as an alternative way of getting it, but and securing that fact that you will get it, but to actually physically go into a shop and, and buy these and get them off, off the shelf and pay for them at the counter is... It's not often done, especially in the UK. So at least they're picking back up the Transformers' interest with these guys, you know? Even though they're going at a very cheap price in, in the B&M stores. So you best go out there if you haven't already. Even in Scotland, guys, there must be Transformers collectors in Scotland. So get out there and look at the B&M stores. Uh, if you can't get them there, try the Entertainer. They've got them on their website, even though they're a wee bit dearer. But try and get these when you can if you don't already have them and didn't order them online when they first came out. All these, uh, um, all that long time ago. Right, I better get back, I better get back on this. I've been rambling on for six minutes. So, I got these, because obviously I've got this. And it, yeah, I did see him at the Comic Con and him, but I, I, I bought Metroplex. It was, I spent far too much. I couldn't buy everything. And obviously I've got this. It's just the exact same mould as this. I've done a review of this before. And that is the exact same mould, so as you know. So, exact same. So I'll I'll get these guys open and show you them. Okay, I don't know if I'll transform them on screen because I didn't with when I did uh, this guy, but I don't know. He's a bit kind of fiddly getting things. I might actually just put when I'm transform show off the faults with it because we know there's the obvious and famous shoulder uh, joint fault with it. I don't have a fix for it. But I'll just show that off. The problem with that, okay. And of course, I haven't got Rhinox, I'll get round to him. I may, I may do him on screen, because he's it's just getting the panels aligned in his, in his, in his Rhino, in his Rhino mode. It's, uh, I've seen people do it, it's kind, of, it's kind of fiddly just getting all that aligned properly. But I'll try and do it. Okay, I'll, I'll get them out of the pack now. And I'll come back and can see, see these figures, okay. That's me back. So here, here are the figures out of the box. As you can see, it blitz wing there. Oh, I haven't put the missile on them. Where, where's the missile? Did I get the missile? I'll have to look for the missile. Uh, but as you can see, the, it's the shoulder joints are a problem. Uh, he does have a nice looking head. It does have a gimmick. Because you can rotate them. To show that face, and to show that face like in Transformers uh, animated, like uh, Colonel Clink, you know, that kind of face. And he just rotates it back to his ordinary face again. Eyes, and his cockpit opens, as you can see, opens slightly, the cockpit does. <coughs> And that aye, it's not a bad size. Uh Reinhold's always just shorter, as you can see. <laughs> uh so he does stand kinda tall. Now uh, here's the problem with this. Oh, wait to do this. Here he is with his other one. Duck my move him out of the road. Double dealer. So there's double dealer. He does have a rotating face. Uh it's basically the same. Comes both with a sword and a gun. It's that the same kind of gun. Or you can either put the gun in one of the two. You can either have him holding two guns and that guy holding two swords or whatever, you know. Even though they're different colours, but the guns are the, it's that same colour. So you could probably have one holding two guns, like kind of John Woo style. Uh, even though Rhinox did the John Woo thing in the cartoon. Uh, now, the soldier joints, this is that same soldier, so, uh, shoulder joint problem as was, with this, as was this one. As you can see in... Uh, where the hell is it? 
Oh, yeah. As you can see in there, right there, these just sit on top, and this has got a slot, and it's supposed to go into a peg, in there, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's a bit dark, but there's a, there's a peg in there, where that slot goes into, but it doesn't stay in that peg, so when you move the arms around, it does, when you move the arms around, it does tend to come up and out of there, it does that a lot. Because these are just sitting flush, you can tuck them under and stop it coming up, but then, it, then you get that problem. It, it comes out the way to the side. So that's an. It does. It does exact same on both. You know that and double dealer. And since they're both out, you're going to have that shoulder joint problem. But that. But that's him in the robot mode. It looks pretty smart. And. Uh, Ah, he's, he's definitely, well, apart from the shoulder joint problem, he is worth picking up. In fact, if you can get them both, they're both worth picking up. Since they're both out there in B&M or the entertainer, depends where you buy them from. Uh, yeah, so they're both worth picking up. Okay, he doesn't have the, of the face rotating uh, gimmick that Blitzwing does, but ah, it's still a nice figure and uh, it's definitely worth uh, picking up that so I'll get this guy into tank mode and let you see him in tank mode okay oh uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on I uh, haven't shown you Rhinox have I <laughs> good so there's Rhinox a lot shorter his gimmick of course is the Rotating Gatling Guns, that's his little gimmick, it's a nice figure, uh, the head moves 360 degrees, arms move, uh, the joint, legs move, obviously, back and forth, out to the side, you can posability, a lot of posability in these guys, move in and out, up and down, and you know, he's got both, he's got the same gimmick with, with both Gatling guns. He's quite a nice figure. So, oh, and uh, uh, the possibility with that is just the same. You get arms, move, legs, rotate and twist. Uh, you get ankle tilts on these, obviously. You know, you get ankle tilts so you can angle them. And the twist at the knee, and so on and so forth. So, there's not much. I mean, for, for, for a... Uh, Voyager class figure, it's obviously got all the articulation that you expect of a Voyager class figure. I'll not d dwell too much on that because there have been loads of um, reviews of these done already from America had these out first ages ago, so it's been reviewed to death just to show them off really. Uh, but I'll get him to tank mode and I'll get Rhinox into Rhinoceros mode, okay? I'll let you see them. And here he is in tank mode. Pretty swish looking. I don't see so myself. I'll move them out the road so they can actually put some light on it. I'll come round that side so not blocking the light. Hey? Battery was a bit down there. I thought, I thought I'd, I thought I'd it plugged up to the computer so I could charge it there. Uh, right, aye. So that's basically him and his tank. He, he does have a little gimmick. If you push that back, oh, wait a minute. You push that in like that, you push it back, it does fire. His, 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 his gun. It does fire the missile out. You just keep that forward, push it in, and this bit 
does go back and you just push it back and it comes out like that. Uh, uh, double dealer, exact same thing, exact same mould, exact same gimmick. But that's him there, he's a pretty nice looking figure. There it is underneath. You can see his jet kibble under there. Yeah. Round, yeah, the turret goes right round as well. But it does expose the jet kibble when you push it round there. You can see he's got a kind of double hinge there. It does go right round like that. And that's it, it's quite cool. So that's him there. Oh, and if you, if you, since, since I've got the other one anyway, there's the other one in tank mode. <laughs> You've got them both in tank mode. Now, obviously they're both out in B&M stores. Some have one, some have the other. If you're lucky enough to find both of these in the store, and definitely pick them up. Or if you can find one store and you have to go further afield to another store and have these in. Uh, one has one, one has the other. Yeah, the other store has the other, then obviously pick them both up. But uh, they're nice, nice figures. They do have the shoulder problem fault uh, across the both, both of them, but there's not much you can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, and I, I, it's, it's kind of fiddly trying to get them into different modes. So I try, try to get these tank trays to go into these bits there. There's a little notch there I don't there's a, a little notch in there right there and that peg there goes into that slot there now try to align it right to get them in because when you pull that that fork down it actually goes right down but you've got to make it go up a wee bit it just kind of clips you can just hear it click when you push it in just slightly so it aligns with that uh, bit on there, so it can clip in, because there's a wee uh, slot for that peg in there. And it all comes together. I can't get a damn thing together now. <laughs> That's it. That's it. But that does stick further out than, than, than it. Than it does to align with that, so you do, you've got you got to push it in. You've got to push the tank treads back in a wee bit to get it to align. That's on it, and, and it's across uh, both, obviously, moulds. You have that uh, thing you've got to watch. Okay, oh, and of course, the misalignment with the uh, nose cone, because that head's on a spring, and it just pushes against the nose cone, pushes it out like that. And these bits don't align properly. These bits don't align properly, as you can see. You can try and push it in, but it doesn't align. It's the same with that one. That one, that one's got the same problem. You can see the big, huge gap there, and that doesn't fit. It doesn't quite fit because the, the head's in a spring. It's pushing that. It's pushing against that, so it doesn't quite fit. You, know, you, you do have these faults when you get these figures, unfortunately. But I mean, I mean, it doesn't stop you getting them. Definitely get them. It's best to get both if you can find both. Like even if you've got to go to a further a field, um, a further a field. Um, that one seems a bit wider. See that that one, the gap in there seems a bit wider than the gap there. I don't know why that is. It's kind of weird because the gap in that one it seems it, it seems to be sitting out. See that? It seems to be sitting out further than that one. That one seems to be uh, a lot closer in. Seems a weird. Uh, even this. Oh no, there it is. There it is. I didn't. I didn't have the, the things back properly. That. That's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> it was me. It wasn't uh, the figure. It was me. I didn't have them things moved back properly. Aye, uh, but uh, I mean, like I said, it's worth getting them if you can. Even if you have to go to two different stores. To try and, and find them, it's worth getting them. So I'll I'll put that into jet mode. In fact, I'll put them both into jet mode. Let you see them, okay? Oh, the other thing I want to say, show you is I think I did this for Double Dealer before in a video review. Is that bit there? That bit there. It doesn't look as if it's going to come out, but you actually give it a real good tug. 
it feels as if you're going to break it, but what it is, is a tiny wee little, just little bumps, I don't know if they even call them pegs, because they're so slight, they actually, I don't know if you can see that, they actually fit into these notches there, I'll try and zoom that in, there's, there's notches there, that these little tiny wee bumps are, or pegs, you can see them there, that they kind of raised bits I actually fit into, but it's very tight. I haven't actually thought with double dealer, I thought there was some wrong with it, it wouldn't actually. Um, I actually managed to do it just lately there because it was very tight. I felt I was going to break it. It feels like you're going to break it, but it really just needs to pry a bit of pressure. That's because that way you can make the gun I get it down under there, and it can actually come round when it's in jet mode. And it can actually face out that way. That's what I was trying to do with Double Dealer. That's I did a video review of Double Dealer when I got them. And I couldn't get that to do that. And that's why I just didn't apply enough pressure to push that uh, bit forward and out of that out of that piece there. So it does actually come, come out. You've just got to apply a good bit of pressure. And it's the same with both Double Dealer and uh, Blitzwing. Okay. So, there he is in jet mode. Now, I put one with his gun forward, because that's quite a neat way of doing it. Uh, I'll try and... That's right. Put with his gun forward like that. Quite a neat, neat way of doing it. Uh, you could put the... There's peg holes on his wings and the side and the other side you can fit. That's actually a screw hole, but it, it, it does allow for a, a peg to fit in there. You can peg something in there. Uh, so, ah, he's pretty neat. Obviously, you can see there the the problem with the head trying to ride forward and pushing the, the nose going forward. Because it's on a spring, the head is. So, that's not very good. And he has his gun, you could fire it in that mode too. Obviously, with this one, I've just put him in his ordinary mode, you know, he's... He's got his gun back there, sticking out, like an extra jet. Oh, obviously they're both, both, and I'm have if I can do it. The damn thing will come out. I don't have nails for this. Yep, there it is, the landing gear. They both have landing gear. As you can see. Oh, the one thing I forgot to show in robot mode is it's they both got a, a th well, at least for him. He's got light piping on his back, so he can shine the light through, and he's got light piping on his back. But aye, that, that's, they're pretty cool. I like that one because of the that, that design, the nose going, and the colour. The blue is nice. But I mean, don't get me wrong, Blitzwing is cool too. As they're both the same design really, aren't they? So, that's... Oh, oh that's the other thing I wanted to show you. Uh, these. Now... These, even though that's the right way up, but because it's got the ball joints showing there, you can actually pop them off and swap them about and turn them over. But obviously, the design on the underside, get the other side, it's showing, is, try and focus that in, is, you know, it is the underside, it's not the other side, so, you know, like that, so, it, that, that will be noticeable, but it does hide the, the, obviously the ball joint showing there but obviously you know you can pop them off and swap them over to cover that whatever way you want it's your own personal preference but that's been Blitzwing anyway Generations uh, Throwing 30 get him out the road Blitzwing and of course you want to pick him up you can as well because they're both, they're both out there maybe not in the same store but they're both out there <clears throat> I'm both out there, so that's him for that. I'll, I'll go and do Rhinox now, okay? Uh, quick thing before I forgot, uh, obviously you get instructions with it, it shows you how to do it, that's Blitz Wings, as you can tell. You know, there's, there's Blitz Wing there, you got a nice big representation of Blitz Wing, there's Blitz Wing there. All these transformation modes and blah blah blah. That's it there. So you get that, and same with Rhinox. You, you, you get Rhinox one as well. 
there's the Rhinox one. I know it's the same, you get nice artwork on the side. Trilling 30. The Rhinox Maximals. Like I say, I hope we get Rat Trap, and uh, if they do bring out Deluxes, uh, we get Rat Trap and Waspinator. That, that, that would be nice. Right, I'll go, I'll go and get the actual figure now. Uh, I'm back again. I, this guy's a nightmare. It's all these panels, trying to get it all lined up and everything. I did uh, notice that in other people's reviews, you know, I bother trying to get the panels. They've all got me lined up. They're all uh, pegs and slots, you know, you just put the, you can use pegs and kind of put them into the slots. Uh, it's just getting them all lined up, it's a, it's a nightmare. And and when you do the head, there's a pit, there's a peg, and it goes into a slot at the, just down below the back of the head, and it's difficult to see past the, all this, so trying to get that on there is nightmare. It is, is a wee bit kind of gappy at the front there. You can kind of see gaps at the front there. The, the back end's all right, but the, the, the kind of back area's all right, but the, the front you can definitely see gaps in there, and you can see the uh, kind of parts in there too, you know, it's a wee bit kind of gap. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, I've got it right or what, but... Oh, and the uh, weapons, you clip together and you tuck it in there and these fold over them, these fold down over them, so, and that's it. But that's Rhinox anyway, like I said, when you get them, you might be throwing it at the wall because <laughs> try to get the thing, all the panels all lined up and uh, pegged together can be rather uh, trying. So, <laughs> I've I've had uh, panel transformers before where you got a panel like the Death Star, Darth Vader, you know, it, it's all panels and try to get them aligned up. It's the same idea with this figure. Try, try to get them all lined up, it's, it's just a complete and utter nightmare. Obviously that's hard plastic, that's actually kind of soft plastic in places, so, you, you know, you get some flexibility to work with there. Yeah. Unlike the panels in the Death Star, Darth Vader, but, but, uh Aye, but I mean, it's a really nice figure. And just I wish there wasn't that big, huge gap there that you can see things. I wish it was, it does look more closed in the instructions. I don't know what, I'm, I don't know if I've done something wrong or what, what I'm doing, man. See? Oh, and of course, his, his head's inside there. You might not can see it. I'll open it wider. Yeah, there's his head in there. So his head lives in there. I don't know if that was the, the original toy had that or his head. Folded away somewhere, but with this one, his head lives in there. He does look really cool. Like I said, I hope Rat Trap and Waspinator come out. I hope that they come out as well. Uh, his ears, they don't really move. They look stiff. It's in ball joints. They do kind of sort of move, but they have a little bit of give on them. But they don't really move. It looks as if they're, they're on two ball joints here, but. I can't really get them to move much. But anyway, that's been Rhinox and I'll get the other guy back in. Blitzwing. That's been Rhinox and Blitzwing Voyager Class Thrilling 30 Generations line which are out in b and stores in the UK, even in Scotland, uh, well some of them anyway, and uh, the entertainer will be getting them out as well, uh, that store, but they'll be getting them dearer, obviously, they'll be 10 or quite a few pounds dearer, so a bit, I think it's over a tenner dearer, I think it's over a tenner dearer than, than b and &M. so if you can get them in b and &M, and remember, these may not have all the full range of figures in the B and M stores. You may get some in uh, one B and M store, while some have others. So you may find that. And of course, you know all the folks that are with Blitzwing and Double Dealer, and try to get him together with all the panelling. Is it, it can it can try your patience so it can. But uh, aye, they're good figures. Well, I say I don't know if I'll do another wee video uh, showing off these guys again. I did one before, um, but I don't know if I'll just leave it at that or do another one. I mean, this thing's about h half an hour long, <laughs> and pe people don't like watching things that are half an hour long. They'd rather things that are ten minutes. But uh, it's just to show off them um, figures and 
And uh, I'm sorry I didn't do the transformations, but I mean, if that, that Rhinox one would have took half an hour just to get to get the panels and, and, and a lot of swearing in between. Uh, <laughs> so that's basically that. I, I don't know. I, I might I might do ones with with, with these uh, just to do just to do a kind of re thing with for, for, for what you're going to expect when you buy them at, at B and M stores. Or I might not. I'll I'll see how I'll see how things go. Anyway, I better stop this. This thing will be running out, and you'll get fed up the first ten minutes. Now I mean the other, the other twenty. I I might actually do that because it will show off the kind of faults that are with with them um, things. I, I I'm not trying to put you off buying them, but it does show the faults. You you probably know them anyway from other people's videos and reading stuff online. But uh, I'll I'll kind of do that anyway if I can. Okay. So that's been that, uh, like I said, the thrilling 30 Voyager class generations. Hopefully we'll get jet firing at some point. Hopefully we'll get these guys in. You know, Orion Pax, uh, the Deluxes and Tankor in some point, as well as Rat Trap and Waspinator. Oh, and of course... Uh, for the rest of the people that didn't get it when it came out, yeah, I know, I know who I'm going to show you in a minute. Is of course this guy. Hopefully, we'll get him as well at some point, and it'll be more widely distributed. You know, you know, because it was a limited release in certain Toys R Us when it first came out. Uh, not everywhere got him, so hopefully this time round, you know, it'll be more widespread. You'll be able to pick them up. Obviously, it's going to be the Takara one, because that one's the... Oh, no, obviously, it's going to be the Hasbro one. The Hasbro one, because this is this is the Takara one. It's got the... It's got the... That one's got the voice, and the Hasbro one doesn't. And it's only got one gun, so... But we, we, we can only... And we, we can only wait and see what happens. Uh, and of course we'll be getting Jetfire. But anyway, that's that's been that, so I better go now. God, this thing's over half an hour. Right, see you. Bye.